Hey, what's going on today? Uh, I've said I was going to make this video probably a week or two ago. Um, and, you know, it's just my opinion. It's an opinion video. Um, uh, when you're doing FBA or Amazon, you, you typically get on Google, you get on YouTube, you try to find as many facts about the situation as you can, about the business, um, about the investment strategies and how much capital you think you're going to need, things like that. Um, and the majority of the Amazon guys that are on there now, if you just generally search are high dollar guys who honestly are selling a brand of themselves, not how to actually do things. And the stuff that they have that is good about how to do things is very outdated. Um, your Tanner Foxes, your uh, Loverstein, Loverstein's decent, but he does have a lot of outdated information and it's more about building a brand than it is about um, actually getting started in Amazon FBA. So I think that is a detriment to their channels, to the new people. Now, to the people that have been doing it for a while and they know the ins and outs and they're they're trying to build off of that, they probably are pretty decent for them. But um, for me, I'm not buying a thousand dollar course for you to. And, and, and let me let me preface this. Um, I believe it was Tanner's course, and I'm not dogging Tanner. He's doing his thing, and he's very successful at it. But when you go, you click to buy his his thousand uh, dollar course right and it gives you kind of a preview of all the videos you get and the titles of those videos i can find that all that information 90 percent of it is general information that you can find yourself um and that's not necessarily to say that that's a waste of money but for me it would be um the only like i've said before the only plus to these courses are the facebook groups and the groups that uh, the networking as far as the information on how to start and things like that, it's a complete waste of money, in my opinion. It depends on how bad you don't want to use the time yourself. But like I said, a lot of those things are outdated. So you're hearing information like, for example, about how groceries uh, gated. You'll hear that 100 times on how to get undated, ungated in grocery. And it's just not relevant. It's not, it's not a gated category. Um, and really, honestly, I would argue that a lot of the gating videos that you see on YouTube are not accurate anymore because a lot of the major categories that were gated that everyone's trying to get ungated in are not gated anymore. They're brand gated, not category gated. Some of the subcategories may be, but not the main category. Uh, for example, shoes, grocery, clothing, toys. There's a plenty of those items you can sell um, right now without being ungated. But the purpose of this video was to show you a few guys who a couple of them are bigger, um, bigger as in they're not they're not tanner fox big they're not you know some of these other guys big but they have good information and you still have to find the current stuff because a lot of their stuff is still outdated it's just youtube it's just how it is one reason i'm making these videos is because it's like a, a lot of these guys are big youtubers and you google or you search something on youtube and they're the first video every time that pops up and their stuff is two years old two years is an eternity on fba as far as rules as far as i mean we could go on and on on how that's different. It's not the same, you know, and, uh, but these few guys here, I've been really impressed with their information, not to mention that a lot, they stay up to date on most things. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to leave a link to their channel on every one of the, in the description, but I do want to stress that it's still up to you to find your own information, research it. Like if they say something that you're like, Hey, I didn't know that. Then you go and research that and try to see if it's true and it's and if it's still true because a lot like I said a lot of times our stuff is outdated. Um, one guy who really helped me a lot in the beginning uh, was Derek Struggle and I followed him before he was big, um, but he's gotten into more of the branding thing too, um, where the information is not as good as it used to be to me. Um, not to mention I think he's more geared to a private label. Um, if you follow me at all, you know that I started out trying to do private label, which was a mistake for me. I should have built a business first and then established myself and then went into private label. Uh, it's still a goal, uh, but not not from China. I'll say that every video I talk about private label. China thing is dead. Anyway, um, so when I first got into arbitrage, which I mean, I'd done arbitrage before. It's kind of self-explanatory in a lot of ways, but um when I really started digging into it, uh, there's another guy named Rake and Profit 
who <clears throat> is very good. He's very informative, and most of his stuff that I've watched anyway has not been outdated. And he takes you, and he's gotten bigger as well. He's not as small as he was when I follow, first started following him. Um, I think he's got about 8,000. Is it 8,000? Um, let's see. No, he's got 91,000 subscribers now, Reckon Profit. He had less than 20 when I started following him. So um, you, but I've learned a lot from him. Um, so you got Reckon Profit. I would stay away from Derek Struggle unless you're going to watch his older older stuff and then research it to find out if it's current, uh, if it hadn't changed. Um, Seth Kniep, another great youtuber when it comes to amazon and ebay and things like that and he does do more private label he's huge now like i mean he's got his own i don't know if you guys know this but seth can eat the just one dom.com class and course and everything that he sells which is probably a good course i'm not going to go that route <clears throat> but he he does fulfillment um he does like staging centers for amazon like you can send your stuff to him and he'll prep his prep center so i mean he's he's gotten large um but he's got a lot of good information on arbitrage and other things, and he, he breaks it down to a basic level if you're new. It's very, very informative. Some of it, like I said, you, you still have to double-check because it might be outdated information. You know, a lot of those videos are old. Um, but he's large. I think he's over – he might be over 100,000 subscribers. He's between 80 and 100,000. Um, the next two guys, and these two guys are newer, um, and – I would say 80% of their content is very valuable. Uh, one in particular, I've learned something every time I've watched a video from him, uh, is Adam R. Fisher. If you search Adam R. Fisher, which I'll leave a link in the description, he's, uh, I think he's from the same area as me, actually, somewhere around here. Uh, but he's getting hes getting bigger as well. hes I think he's closing in on 10,000 subscribers. But um, arbitrage-wise, he's... You learn a lot. You know, you still have to think outside of the box. You still have to have your own methods and your own ways, but you kind of learn a foundation of things from him. Um, and then finally is Watch Me Amazon, which he's just fun to watch. He's only got like 13 videos, I think, on his channel, and he's got close to 9,000 subscribers um, at the making of this video. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to have to find all this information on your own whether that's through searching through YouTube or Google or whatever. Amazon is horrible for sellers anyway, as far as finding information on their site on how to do things. They, they expect you to jump in and learn it yourself or whatever the case. So in the past, you know, you've heard, well, you got to have a class, you got to get on, you know, um, Udemy or whatever and buy a class or buy one of these thousand dollar classes from these guys. I just don't agree with that. I think that uh, a lot of things are easily learned by yourself. I mean, if for me, I learn things better when I have to research it. You know, this generation is not keen on that. You know, I'm 41. And in my day, you had to research everything. You know, I remember encyclopedias, for example. So, I mean, it, it's not like now where you can just say, hey, Siri, and find it. You know, so I think that's where all the mistakes are coming in is because you didn't find the information on your own. You don't, you didn't research it and see the ins and outs. You're just going by what somebody else said and jumping in. And then you're like, wow, where did all these issues come from? Well, they didn't tell you those issues. They want you to buy their course. And like I said, if you look at the, the next time you're thinking about buying a course, click on it, get all the way to the buy now screen or whatever. And it usually will show you a list of the videos that you're going to get included, like eight hours of content, whatever you want to call it. Look at the titles of those videos. 99% of that is is fluff. You know, it's something that you could find. I, I remember one on Tenors is like how to LLC your company. My God, I can find that on Google in 30 seconds. Why do I have to pay you $1,000 to find that information? So it's not a dog at him. Like I said, the network and the Facebook group that he's got is probably worth the $1,000. But the class itself is general information. To me, I would rather get on Udemy and pay nine ninety nine for one than I would pay these thousand dollars, and I wouldn't do that. I've I've gotten to the point where my capital is very important in my business investment wise. I'm not going to spend it on, you know, bullcrap. I'm not going to go play golf with it. I'm not going to flip and spend it on a class that I can. I'm going to put the time in myself. If that takes my business longer to grow then so be it. Because I know at the end of the day, when it starts growing, it's going to grow the right way. It's not going to have the, it's not going to be on a tightrope. 
you know, and we're all tight roping it anyway on Amazon. So you might want to, you know, just really consider that when you're starting out. Um, you know, I do want to get into how much money it takes to get started. I want to get into those things because I feel like a lot of people are, they're shooting you bad information. They're not, at the time, it may have been good information, but two years ago, that's an eternity. Like I said, things have changed so much on FBA just in the year and a half I've been on there that I can't imagine watching a video from, that's one of the first things I look at when I'm researching something and I want to watch a video about it is the date because a lot of times these dates are like, I'm not watching that. It's a waste of time because it's five years ago, three years ago, whatever. Um, but anyway, back to the subject of the video, um, stay focused on good updated content, updated information. Um, and these guys that I, sh that I mentioned in the video and we'll put their links in the description. I think they're really good at, at, telling you what you need to know. They're good teachers. I mean, they, you, you do learn from them. Um, just like I said, make sure it's updated information. Um, I'm probably about to make another video about some things, but I wanted you guys to, to not just get information from me. I'm so small. I mean, I, I did $1,700 last month. Some of these guys are doing that in a week. So, I mean, and less than that, um, just stay focused, research yourself, do it yourself. Find information if it's current, back it up with more information, you know, research it. When I say research it, I mean, it needs to be corroborated down the road. It doesn't need to be, well, he said, she said, it needs to be, he said, and then I saw it here and then I saw it here and then I saw it here and it's all current. So that will help you succeed. That'll help you from making big mistakes like I made, you know, a year and a half ago. So uh, stay focused, stay researching and let's keep it moving. Okay. Talk to you later.